Instant food thickener can be used to thicken not only individual portions, but bulk amounts also. Again, all of those instructions will be available for you on the container of the thickening agent that you're using, and we're using a starch agent today, as well as guidelines provided by your manufacturer. Let's start with chilled cranberry juice. We're gonna start with one quart of chilled cranberry juice, and I'm actually going to pour it in a larger pitcher because it makes it easier for mixing. When you're mixing bulk portions of thickened liquids, you always want to use a wire whisk versus your spoon or fork. Again, accuracy is key in terms of measuring and for thickening, and let's do a level two, mildly thick consistency. One quart of our chilled, again, cold cranberry juice takes one half cup of instant food thickener. So we're going to use our one half cup measure. Accuracy is so important when you're using a thickening agent and you're working to get a desired, whether it be level two or level three. One half cup, pour it all at once in to your chilled cranberry juice and start whisking. It may take a little bit longer to whisk when you have a bulk container, but you should see within a 30 second period of time, we're starting to thicken and we want to make sure that we have all of our starch thickener dissolved. This should set again for one to four minutes to get to the desired thickness. While we're letting that wait, let's review how we're going to test this using our flow testing guideline set out by IDDSI. Remember with the flow testing, you want 10, 10, and 10. You start with 10 milliliter syringes and they need to be a slip tip syringe. Remove the plunger from one syringe and set it aside. You also will be timing for 10 seconds. So have your stopwatch ready to go to time for 10 seconds. Okay, we've removed the plunger, set it aside, fill our second syringe. up to 10 milliliters. Let's get our stopwatch ready. Three, two, one, start. It should flow a little faster since we're working for a level two. And after 10 seconds, we are at 4.4 milliliters. For a level two, goal is between four and eight milliliters. Our product is a little bit on um, the warmer side, so it should be a little bit thinner on the lower side of the range. That's how you thicken a juice, bulk juice, using instant food thickener.